Are we, are we going good? Okay, guys, welcome back to Loki and Gaming. I know I have had you in this game before, but I kind of wanted to bring you in here. I'm going to try something here. We have different controllers at the moment, and I have you on one of the less finished levels because I wanted to avoid music. Um, you know, that kind of makes copyright stuff go crazy. And I wanted to show you something. I am working with my hands now for the first time ever in this game. I've owned this game a couple years. The last time I played it, I freaked out and got stressed out because my control pad would no longer work. But these controllers didn't work either. And I thought, okay, um, it's just broken. But I came in today to test it and my hands are working which is a huge thing in this game because everybody was saying well it would be a lot more believable i know the graphics it would be a lot more believable if you could um pick stuff up with your hands and use something besides the pad controller well they must have listened because now now it works at least for me maybe for everybody else it always worked but for me it's now finally working with the pad controller so, um, this is World of Diving. Um, I would recommend getting this on sale because after you complete the missions, unless you are really, really, really in love with the idea of going underwater, there is nothing left to do. There are hours and hours and hours of digging into nooks and crannies, but once you complete those missions, there's nothing to do, and it looks, from all intents and purposes, like... Even though my controller's updated, it doesn't look like anything else is updated. Though I haven't explored too much yet. Um, this is really nice with um, this because it's no longer head directional. So I can look around as I'm swimming. Which is nice because before you looked around and you you did stuff. And now I'm grabbing stuff with my hands. So that that is a good good update. It doesn't look like the graphics have been updated, though this water does feel a little bit different. Um, and the nice thing is that once you are done with the, mi the missions, you can choose to just come in here and hang out. You're done with the mission, you can hang out. If you, you run out of air in your tank, you're just going to teleport back to the boat, so it's nothing horrible or traumatic. And it, I, I, I know the graphics are limited, you know, I, I know that, but it, it's still fun. It's kind of like being in a 90s screensaver is what it's kind of like. You got your little fishies in here. And they're not, you know, they're not hyper intelligent. They're not going to come up and start having a conversation with you or anything. I'm not even aware of what kind of AI they have, if any. But if you stay still, they will come up too. Oop, but if you reach a hand towards them now, nope, they don't want that. But they will come up to you if you stay completely still. They'll come up and check you out. They will, if, I don't know if it'll upset you or not, but they will swim right towards your face and keep going. So if you don't want one swimming through your face mask, just kind of give them a little push and they'll, they'll, they'll freak out and go away. So they will come close if we stay still. And as you see, as we, we start going forward, they're going away. And look, we found one of my babies. And I know this isn't the best animation, but we found one of my babies. We found one of my pretties, and I can finally pet one of my pretties. Hi, baby. That's my sweetheart. And I think we discussed it years ago, but you can tell these are little girls. So this is a lady shark. You can tell by looking underneath. We've got females on this level. I don't think I've seen any males in these games, but it's just, it's one of those shark nerd facts. So, they're very gentle sharks in this game. You can swim with them, and give them little pets. If they let you get close enough, they're really gentle. It's If you love sharks, that's why I love this game. You can come hang out with sharks. They're, they're not going to, you know, try to bite you or anything. And unlike some of the other games, it's not... She's not going to be fed anything, and I'm not going to have toys for the dolphins or anything. So, it's a little different vibe. Um, you notice the colors are a lot more subdued here than it is in, say, some of the ones where it feels like you're diving into your fish tank. Um, these are more, I guess, more realistic. I wouldn't know. I have never actually dived, but you've still got some pretty amazing sea animals in here. 
and you just come in here and chill. If you're playing a finished level, you're going to get music. You're going to get other stuff, but again, if you're diving, uh, um, you're probably not going to get that much music. So to me, this is okay. Um, you can fill up your tanks if you hit some stuff, like um, if you would hit a photograph thing. If I can find one around here. It's going to automatically fill up our tanks and give us more dive time. And now with our hands available, we can do a lot more stuff and use those hands and get into stuff. And look at the fishies. I just, I love fishies. I don't know why they calm me down. I could live in a fish tank. Um, again, I know this isn't the same thing as getting to go on an actual dive, but, you know, it's not bad either. Um... It's really neat. I'm going to be exploring this all today. It's what I'm going to be doing because now that I can use my hands. Let me see if I can touch this. Okay, so see my fish tank filled up? And if I wanted, I could take that challenge. Or if I don't, I can fill it on purpose. And I can, um, yeah, you do have a screen. You see black out there a little bit when you touch that stuff. So it still does need a lot of work. It is still rough around the edges. But I like it for the fishies. They're not hyper-realistic fishies, but they're cute enough. And I like it for the levels like this where there's there's no sound, there's no music. Um, you know, it's it's more it's more realistic. I don't know if there's even an option to turn off the music. I've honestly never looked, even though I've had this game for a couple years. But I thought, oh, see, it's telling that little bubble is telling me, hey, your mission's way back here. But you can also surface. I'm not sure if it's going to let us go near one of these islands. Let's see if it will. There's a fun one over here, and let me see if I can bring up my. Okay, I'm going to tell it to stop the challenge. Okay, it, I, I don't know what it's doing there. Missions, challenges. Okay, I don't need that. What I think I need is this. Oh my god, it still works. A little scooter. Okay, so this still works. It's not going as fast as it used to, but that's not bad. So you can still ride your little sub around. Um, when you hit dry ground, you're not going to be able to walk like you could before. So if you still wanted to walk on dry ground, either switch to your controllers or switch to your pad if you still can. Or just use these controllers. Um... Overall, it's it's not a bad game if you get it on sale. The problem with these games is that once the missions are done, unless you really like to come in here and look at the view and you really like to chill, um, I'll be the first to admit you're not going to have a lot left to amuse you with. Um, hmm, there's something over there I can see. So let's see what's over there. But yeah, overall, it's it's nice that these these hands work now. This is what I'm excited with. And if I sound kind of laid back, I've been trying this for a while, trying to get a recording for you guys. So, there is a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I see what that is. It's another coral reef. So, you are going to have a lot of places to explore, and you're going to see some animals. And you're going to see dolphins, and sharks, and whales, and everything else. And I'm sorry to have you on the level with no music, but again, um, until YouTube calms down a little bit, I really do not want to have um, music in a game, and let, you know, unless I can't help it. And I've had this game on before, so you guys pretty much know what it's all about. But it, it is a nice game to have to kind of go into, though I admit once you've had it for like over a year, it's like, eh, I'll just pop in for five minutes. Still, you see, you can see dolphins, and you can swim with the fish. And there's really not a ton of these things um, outside of VR. I really haven't seen a ton of diving games outside of VR. There are a few, but not as many. It, it seems to be mainly, I guess, because of the way VR works and you can kind of be here. 
inside the 90s fish tank out. Um, <laughs> um, I think that's why it's, it's kept to VR. So, you know, it, overall it's not bad. And you, you got your fishes. And you can always go above the water and if you wanted to travel that way, travel. Um, I will admit the graphics are kind of limited and, you know, you do have nice clouds in the sky and everything. But, you know, it it is what it is. So I will give you guys the link over. I have this on the Rift and I kind of like it. You can you now play with your hands in the water. I know, I'm too. But you have the Rift. I have this on the Rift rather. And you can also have it on your um, Steam. So I'll give you guys the link over. But I just figured since that finally updated, I don't know if the developer updated it or just my my controls are finally working. But to me, it was a pretty big deal. So I figured I'd bring it to you guys. If you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. And I, I do like, I'm just noticing them now. I do like the, the light over here. I do like how that, that light is hitting that. So that is something nice. So it is you know, nice in parts. I will admit dolphins don't really look like that, but, you know, other than that, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Limited graphics, yeah, but, you know, overall, not bad if you just want to get in the water and kind of get into a summery vibe. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.